I'm here with Tom Pugh after Hereford's victory over Scarborough. Uh, you were man of the match. How much did you enjoy that? Good game, to be fair. Um, they're a good side. Above us in the league before the, before the match, uh, I know what they're about because I was there uh, start of last season. Um, but now they've got a good few individual players. But tonight we was on top. We battled hard and come out on top. Yeah. It was an open game of football as well. Chances for both teams. Yeah, it was. But I think we had more of the chances. I think... We worked harder and got them chances from even ones where just battling up front and it fell to us and we had the chance. Um, but no, good game. Compare and contrast two performances, uh, one at Farsi Celtic and another one here, uh, pitch-wise and everything else. Yeah, it's just got, just got to adapt to what uh, team you're coming up against. Um, obviously, we did that with Farsley. I thought a draw was, was more than enough, especially our way form. Um, but at home, I think, what is it now, five wins on the trot at home. So, yeah, it's it's a good good home form to have. Now, the weekend, Scunthorpe, I understand you can't play as you're on loan at Hereford from Scunthorpe. No, I'll be, I'll be watching in the stands cheering on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be slipped down the middle, will you? Yeah, somewhere? I will. I will. I'll, be, I'll keep quiet for that one. <laughs> um, but your loan isn't up yet and Hereford with another game against Warrington on Tuesday. Uh, is that your last going to be your last game in the for sure, or is that still up in the air? Still up in the air at the moment. I don't have a clue. <laughs> you probably know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> but you obviously you slotted in well within the group, and it's important to keep that sort of team bonding going. Yeah, the great bunch of lads uh, slotted in straight away. They've um, welcomed me in, and now the good bunch of lads. Yeah. And what went through your mind when you got that ball inside your own half towards the, you know in the second half? To, to create the, the third goal? You tell me, I don't know. I just can't <laughs> <it. laughs> No, um, I don't know. There's space opened up, so I just drove into it. I think I need to add that into my game a bit more, uh, just being more confident on the ball. Um, and I think I got that a bit, a bit of confidence. I just drove with it. So all see say. If I didn't pass to him, he'd have clipped me around the head, so I had to slot him in. <laughs> How important has it been for you to get match, match sharpness and match minutes? I think it's important for every player, isn't it? I think that's what they want to do, just play football. That's what we're here to do. Um, and that, just playing on that pitch in front of fans is just what we need, isn't it, as players? And is the gaffer going to talk to you, bringing you to one side and said, come on, open up about Scunthorpe at the weekend. What can you tell us? What are their, <coughs> what are their weaknesses? What can you tell us about them? My mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say much, can I? Because obviously, you know, you as you said before, you got uh, twin hats on. I have, yeah, but um, yeah, I can't say much either side, so we'll just see how it plans out Saturday. Should be a good, good, good uh, attendance at the weekend, and I think they're going to bring quite a number here. So, um, should be an entertaining match. Yeah, it will be. Um, obviously, scum for up a good side, uh, but Hereford don't really concede much, so it'd be an interesting match to watch. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers, thank you. Appreciate it.